Hey guys. Oh yeah. Now we got this. You can see all my fish. Now watch this. Red. Ooh, blue. White. And we have strobe light flashing fade smooth and just basically we have all these different colors and we are in fact gonna put one on this tank. Hi, chair. Bye, chair. As I said, I love this tank. This is my community tank. That is my lake tank, the tank I've been trying to work on. And I did have plants in there, but my Pleco ate them. So, of course, what are we going to do about it? Okay, guys, this is literally... The first time I actually need to clean my room very badly. I have one on oh, that here soon. Old fish tank bottom. This is the first time I've actually um, wanted to make improvements to my tanks besides aquascaping. Um, I plan on cleaning this up area up a little making my tank more accessible and we're going to start by working on this okay By the way, have you seen my new shirt? It's all fun and games until someone loses a wiener. <laughs> but no, seriously, if you have this light here, it works. Um, so, I definitely don't plan on ripping it apart. At least, I don't want to. First things first, I gotta see how that that doesn't like that tank as much as I thought it would. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I like the lighting in it. I like the light it has. But, so I'm most likely going to keep the light that's in it. Just in case, say, this fails me. Or say I don't like it, okay? So let's get started. By the way, one thing I hate about these here. Is that it evaporates your water quicker because it gets hotter. So that's one of the things I hate. Hi, Doby. Hi, girl. You want to go lay down with your puppies? In fact, that's one of the things I hate about um, these regular fish lights is because of that and since my one that was broken didn't want to work right I now have a light in there and I'm quite happy with it and plus these things drive up your electricity bill like you will not believe now for this project you're gonna need one of these they say it's for TV and PCs it's five fucking dollars and they can just literally sell it as a uh, USB light for fish tanks and probably sell it for about 20 but no seriously um, make the change it's only five fucking dollars it's only five dollars if you hear me cuss say bad John okay always taking care of our puppies you're gonna need a box because um, when I was looking at them when I installed the one, 
And since I have two fish tanks, I decided to install one first, then work on the other one. Definitely grab your luck. This it will work. It will. You'll need it. Now we're gonna start by taking this apart. You see that? And boom! Yeah, I'm so strong. Not really. I'm truly a weak asshole. Yeah. I'm truly a weak punk who can't stop cussing in his videos and yet calls it family friendly. This is um, what it comes with. You got instructions. And by the way, this is from the same people who makes Nuckies. Um, the thing you see on the back of most iPhones phones and some phones today uh, I honestly don't get the point I thought about getting one but then again I thought about not you know I might get one I might I, I, I might um, leave a like on the video if you want me to oh shit Okay, it's just cutting shavings. For a sec, I thought it might have been a piece of the circuit board. Maybe. No, it's just a cut shaving. Okay. Um, for a sec, I thought that was going to go horribly wrong. Um, I'm just wrapping it up. I like the wheels, um, but we probably aren't going to need them. But I'll save them probably for a future DIY project. Um, I did get this idea from King of DIY, um, but when we found them, it was awesome. I was like, ooh, a cool birthday present for my sister. So I got four of them when all I really going to need two. And I actually want to see something real quick. I want to know if um, two remotes work for, if they work for the same ones. That way I could probably save this one. So, I'm going to find out real quick. And by the way, make sure you do this before you um, put your lights up to make sure they work. Is if they do not work and you already have them on what you need, um, it's going to be a very bad day for you. And shit, that is hot, hot, hot. And they work. And the remote works. Damn. Oh, that is bright. Brighter than I thought it would be. So. Let's see if this works on the fish tank, shall we? So, I'm going to turn off the light real quick. Um. Make sure I got everything. And we're just going to flip this thing upside down. First, we got to move it forward. Um, I'm actually going to clean off the top of this. Because I use poker chips to hold up my light. Because water evaporates. And especially here, you can feel the fucking heat from... You can feel the heat from this thing. Um, I am seriously afraid to take this bulb out right now. Um... I kind of want it to cool down here for a little. Um, yeah, that thing is hot. I'm going to definitely give it um, a few minutes to cool, cool down. Um, but if you're doing this, you want to make sure you unplug it. And looking at this, I could probably just take out the light and I'll probably be okay with it. Um,
I'm not too crazy about it. But I, I, I think it'll work. I think it'll be good. Now, you see, I got my plug down there below. So I'm going to go and hook that real quick and get that taken care of. Always make sure... Always make sure it's unplugged. Got it? Or you're going to be running into a very bad day. Okay. I'm not quite sure how to get this for less this uh, bulb out. Weird. Okay, let's look at this. This here has the locks here on the end. I'm not quite sure how to get it undone though. Um, I'll get back to you guys when I figure it out. Now we got this and all we're going to do is uh, unroll it a little and press down and it's hard just sticking there and all I'm doing is going down the outside actually has a little oil coating to make sure it doesn't stick to itself which is kind of funny um, it makes you wonder what type of idiots tried that um, but all this here oh, the oil coating start to die in there um, all this here will be reflective and all you want is it enough so it starts to stick. Oh. Yep. And already we run into our first problem. Nobody cuts shit right. Apparently, where they made this. And you can cut it to the size you want. You see the um, black strips there? But I don't think it'll be going back together. Just like you want. So what I'm going to do is just rotate it and then press down. And there we go. We're just going to go right back down as best as it will go. Yeah, we're already running into the problem of the fact that we got screws here. So we're just gonna probably just overlap those screws here and just keep going. Look at that. Okay, and we're just gonna get that. And just finish pressing that along. There's enough on this roll here to go all the way down and then halfway back up, which is perfect because it'll light up quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to add any more to it, even though I kind of want to. I'm not going to because of that reason. So it's in here. It looks nice. Let's get it all hooked up, shall we? Okay, there we go. 
Um, as you can see, this thing, you can tell it's been evaporating, is covered in secretion from the water, but it, I will definitely, I'm most likely not going to save it. Uh, so what we're going to do, we, we don't want this wire hanging in the back because we are probably not going to even need it. So we're going to grab here and just yank. Got it? We're just going to yank as hard as we can. Oh god, this sucks. Oh, god. Yeah, I yanked the cord. <clears throat> Oh god, that hurts. Until it comes out. There is no turning back from this. You got uh. You know what? Yeah. Oh! Damn! That was funny. Screen's not correct. I love carbon fiber. This is not quite. I'm gonna set this on the ground. Got it. Oh, then get off. Got one more. Ready? Ooh. Is that it? No. There we go. Okay. Oh. Dang, that was a clean wire. It looks like it was just hooked using uh, this thing. Uh, this wire wasn't even soldered or anything. But it was in there quite tough. So, after we got that, like we just did, um, this light is exposed. Um, this one in particular has metal casing. Yours could have a white frame. It could have whatever. Um, it says in the thing to clean it off. And I learned um, perfectly that you probably should. So we're actually going to grab a rag. Shake it out. And I'm just going to dust the inside. And now I'm just going to blow it out. Oh, it's nice and shiny. Okay. It doesn't have to be 100% shiny just to the point where there's no dust. Or otherwise you're going to screw this up big time. Now, um, a nice tip is you want this facing the way your, um, it's going to be facing on the aquarium. Um... A nice tip is to flip it over because it's going to be facing like that for me instead of the other way backwards which was the way I had it up here. I'm going to take a little bit of this tape here um, of this. And what we're going to do is, it has a sicky, um, you want to make sure there's enough room for the wires. Ultimately, enough room for wires. Otherwise, you will be regretting this immediately. And voila. I got the first one. Um, that's, there we go. Yeah. Oh gosh. We're starting at the first part. Um, you might have to hold it 
so the adhesive dries but what I have here is I actually looped it across the edge so the cord can hook up without water going on it say if they're splashing um, these are waterproof I actually found that out um, after the adhesive dries so it will work completely Uh, oh, that looks dry enough. Um, I'm I can do this the rest of this with one hand now, so you guys can see some of it. Okay, it's all hooked up. Let's hook this up. First things first, I gotta start with uh, cleaning the top of this because I did notice flies were coming for my fish food, which isn't the greatest thing. Um, especially if you're a fish t owner um, and another thing I notice is my Pleco keeps on digging my air stone which is not a good thing so that is actually kind of good that I decided to redo these lights that way I can work on this like all the fish in here are probably big enough to the point where I don't think I have to baby um, the air bubbles. Um, uh, I just don't like the look. So I want to make sure all the edges are covered. At least I'm very a little. This is kind of hard to do. There we go. There we go. Shit. Didn't work. Mm. There we can just set this thing on it. These things will most likely go into the easiest way. I like the fact that some of the bowls can't do it. It just keeps going up. We need a, a better solution here. God, this is going to be a long video. I'm definitely going to have to edit this. Put some more stones in the back of this. Got it. There we go. So now what I want to do is um, put everything back the way it was. Now let's get this on here, shall we? Um, that one is actually what I'm really excited for. I'm definitely gonna have to edit this video because I spent three minutes trying to fix uh, my tank uh, air supply. Um, I'm actually want to see what this looks like with um, the light piece and everything on. Bef um, without the poker chips because I'm not going to be that afraid of the evaporation as I was and let's see um, that's not bad and all the light will be reflected into the tank that's not bad at all so now let's just get um, everything else hooked up shall we we're going to do the lights, uh, power supply. 
which will just be a cord and the light itself. Ah. Uh, With the other lights, you had to be careful because of overheated LED. Not really, because they don't overheat on the bulb. It's on the power area is where it starts to heat up. So that's why I want to make sure I keep power supplies separate. Shit. Stupid landers. Stupid Flanders! There we go. Ow. Okay, we're gonna plug this piece apart there. Now for the moment of truth. Oh. Can you see that? I like that. Um, let me try rolling you guys a little here. Um, I'm going to get you guys a better view. Five seconds. I like that. I like this one a lot. Um, and the remote disappeared. Great. Found it. This is um, regular white mode. I'm going to raise the brightness up a little. There. That makes this look beautiful. Let's try it with the blue. Ooh, baby blue. Darker. That's baby blue. Brighter blue. Light green, dark green. Ooh, yellow. Yeah. And no heat being produced whatsoever. I definitely like these new lights. Um, they work really well, and the fact that they're compatible is awesome. And I can control them both at the same time from a certain angle, or just... No. I don't want that one controlled right now. I'm trying to get just this one. There we go. Um, I can actually control them both from up high. Well, if I just want to control one, I have to go low or just average. Oh, sorry. I'm just fascinated by this. Um, let's actually get a strobe light going here. There we go. Uh, I definitely like that strobe light. Um, we got regular flash. Um, fade. And smooth. And just regular white. Um, I do definitely like this. This one has to clear up because I stirred up the substrate. My personal opinion on this DIY is awesome. And by the way, before you guys say, where'd you get that? I got this from Walmart. Okay. Um, these things here, you can get from Walmart in the technology department for $5. Um, I don't know what I want. What? You can get these things for $5, cheap, easy, simple, and I actually forgot I had a sleeping bag. I didn't even know I had one in there. The 
it's simple to convert your light into a cheap LED light. Um, that works awesome. I love it. Um, this one may have to clear up, but I do like it. Um, the part, this is what I like the most. The fact there's not going to be water here every single fucking day from the heat. Um, yeah, it's going to spread up. It's going to do that. It's, um, it's the air, but the part I definitely do like is the fact that I'm not coming here every day, taking this off, or even moving this a little bit. Which, by the way, this might no longer be on here. It might be on the back of this thing. And feeding my fish. God, you have no idea how many times I come up here and water's just like everywhere. So, what I was thinking for a new look for this thing was up here it does give it better lighting but not in the back and here's how the look will most likely be it will hide my filters a little bit better um which is kind of lying down for right now um is hiding those and I have these two holes um, exposed for evaporation. It won't go just straight up. And to feed my fish. So. Yeah. That's going to be my new look for this tank. I like it. I have easy access to this. Um, my opinion on these versus that, I want to be careful, I don't want this thing to break. My opinion on this versus that, that is going to be cheaper for your electricity bill and cheaper in store than buying these things. Yeah, they may be for less than, but those things are definitely going to get you a uh, better quality. Especially, the, especially say you're going to bed and you want some lights. Um, you're in a mood for a light, we can go, bah, 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 ooh, pink, boom, 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 fish are just going crazy, ooh, the male kind of likes the hot pink, perhaps it's a girl, oh my god, the hot pink brings out, Look, um, these are especially good if you have, say, uh, neon guppies, I don't know what they're called, or if you, say, have a goldfish like I do, it just brings out his color, and he comes out now. Well, you just want camera time? Look at him. And then you just have light. I do definitely like this. Um... The goldfish is getting huge, by the way. So, yeah, I do definitely recommend this for all of you guys out there who are looking for cheap LED lights. You can say you're for less than balls going out and they're expensive as fuck. God! No cussing, Johnny. No cussing. And they're definitely cheaper than, uh, dirt. I mean, would you rather spend five bucks and most likely be spending two dollars extra on your uh in spending under about fifty dollars on your electricity bill, or would you rather uh wait for these things to blow, have to buy new ones and spend about fifty dollars? Won't pay your electric bill. It's definitely a fun, easy, simple DIY project. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, this vlog's getting way too long. I gotta spend an hour editing it. So don't forget to leave a comment on what you think about these lights. And if you love this video, make sure to leave a thumb up. And 
If you definitely want to see more DIY projects, definitely let me know in the comments section by also telling me if you want to see more of these. The more likes I get, the more likely I'll do another one. And don't forget to go and take a shout out to the king of DIY for definitely for me because I got this from an old video of his. And he should do a new update version of that. If you want to see his update version of that, definitely go to him. I'd love to see that. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.